Well, while we were on one of our various trips. <laughs> and there were many. <laughs> and there were many. In Spanish Fort Canyon on the original Rio Grande, Utah's built this, uh, this rest area. Isn't it well? Uh, <laughs> they tried to make it into a railroad theme. Yeah, I've noticed that. And they're calling it Thai Fork. And actually, it's a pretty neat building and so on. Kind of fun that since it is on the original route of the Denver and Rio Grande Western, that they followed a railroad theme. But um, that uh, uh, their Rio Grande engine would appear to me to be a European product. <laughs> It, it looks that way, doesn't it? Miss, um, uh, I, I, what? This is not, uh, I guess uh, they didn't quite understand conceptually what they were doing, I guess, uh, I, I assume. But uh, they are going for sort of whimsical. Definitely whimsical. It's kind of a small little water tank here, and yet they've laid real live standard gauge track next to that, and they've built a roundhouse. They have. And all of the picnic tables and everything are actually in the roundhouse. Although here again, uh, sort of a, a miss, I would say. Um, that doesn't look at all like a turntable, really. No, not really. Not really. I mean, I, I get the idea and I see what they're up to, but it would have been sort of fun if they'd have built something resembling a turntable. The roundhouse isn't bad. And uh, they've built a locomotive. They have. Look at that. Look at that. An actual locomotive, I guess. Kind of. Kind of. Or a barbecue, I'm not sure just which. Um, kind of following, a, what would we say, a toy train concept? Again, they're going for whimsical, but for crying out loud, uh, 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 it's sort of backwards? Yes, very backwards. <laughs> very backwards. They've put the, the wheel cylinders under the cab. How would that work? I don't think it would. The, the exhaust stack would come up right through the firebox or something. And look at the, <laughs> look at the timing on the drive wheels. Um, it would bind up if it tried. And yet those are actual iron wheels that they've built. They're all scratch built. The whole thing's all uh, custom constructed out of iron and rivets. And they've put an enormous amount of work into it. It's uh, These are the guys who build it. And it's a company there in Helper. Okay. Right there on the Rio Grande. So that's kind of cool. But I wish they'd have followed more of a... A real locomotive design. Yeah. Particularly uh, a Denver and Rio Grande Western locomotive design. Not something that looks a bit more like a barbecue? Or, or something, something out of a I, cartoon? Or out of a, a cartoon or something. I guess uh, whatever. Now in the picnic area, they have put up some photographs of what really went on here in the canyon real Denver and Rio Grande Western equipment, pictures of thistle and the whole history of the Spanish Fort Canyon, and that's really neat. Check out this consolidation. I like that. That is a really neat locomotive. In truth, the Denver and Rio Grande Western has an amazing history. Well, if you haven't been over to the channel, do pop on over to the channel. And if you're not a subscriber, all is not lost. Here comes your opportunity. Right here, the blue button. Click that and you will be a subscriber. Well, we're not sure how you found this uh, exotic uh, um, recreation. recreation on the internet, but we hope you didn't find it boring and we will see you here on Tuesday.